going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about multi-disc games and a new feature that was introduced in LaunchBox 10.10. .10. With this new feature, LaunchBox automatically creates multi-disc M3U playlist files for certain emulators that support it. Mainly, a lot of the Manafin cores do support this and Flycast. So if you're using Manafin Saturn or Manafin PSX, it's easier than ever to get your multi-disc games up and running properly. LaunchBox has always been good at importing multi-disc games. Here I'm in my PlayStation section, and I'm using Ben and Q files for these games. If you're using PBP files, most of them are already merged and you won't have multi-disc sets. But if you're still on Ben and Q, I'm going to right-click Final Fantasy VII. This is a three-disc game. Yes, I have a couple more extras here but the game itself is on three discs. Disc 1, 2, and 3. Let's say you have a save state for RetroArch and you're starting on Disc 2. You can always just start Disc 2 from here and load that save state right up. But let's say you're in the middle of a game and you need to switch the disc. It's always been pretty easy to go into the settings inside of RetroArch and find Disc Control. From here, you can load a new disc and you'll have to navigate to where that disc is located. But with M3U files, it makes it even easier. We're going to swap back over to LaunchBox. I'm going to show you how to enable this feature, and then we'll get right into it. I'll show you how it works inside of RetroArch. So like I mentioned, these M3U files are only supported by some cores inside of RetroArch, like the Flycast core for Dreamcast, Mednafin, PSX, Libretro, and the Beetle core for Saturn. So in order to get this working properly, we'll need to go up to our settings here, Tools, Manage Emulators, and I'm going to find RetroArch. From here, I'm going to head over to Associated Platforms, and I'm going to find Sony PlayStation. I'm using the Manafin PSX Libretro Core. This is my default emulator, and I want to use M3U playlists. So I'm going to make sure this is checked. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and find Dreamcast. I'm using Flycast Libretro for this, my default emulator, I'm going to use M3U playlist for this also. And finally, I want to do this for Sega Saturn, and I'm using the Manafin core for this. So these are three emulators that support the M3U files. I'm going to click OK and close. And the best part about this is we don't have to do any manual setup with the M3U files anymore. In the past, in order to get this to work, you had to manually create an M3U file or use a separate application to create M3U files for you. As soon as we start a game, LaunchBox is automatically going to detect the core we're using and if we want to use those M3U files. In turn, it's automatically going to create an M3U file in the temporary folder. Now once the game is stopped, it'll get rid of that M3U file, but while we're in the game, that M3U file exists and RetroArch can recognize it. So we're going to start up Final Fantasy VII one more time. And for this, I'm using the Manafin PSX Libretro core. I need to insert disk 1 in order to start this game properly. I'm going to press my hotkeys that I set up inside of RetroArch, and from the quick menu, I'm going to scroll down until I find Disk Control. Now like I showed you previously, you can still go to Load New Disk and navigate there manually. But if we want to use those M3U files, all we have to do is press Eject Disk. Current Disk Index will pop up, and as you can see, I have three disks now. So this is reading from that M3U file, I need to be on disk 1, so I'm going to make sure I have disk 1 selected. I'll go back to insert disk, virtual CD drive tray closed, and it'll load the disk I chose, which was disk 1, because I'm just starting this game out with this core. This just makes it a lot easier to swap disks. Instead of navigating through all of your files and folders, you can do it using that automatically created M3U file. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. It's super easy to use, and I think it just makes it a lot easier so you don't have to navigate through all of your files and folders. But you need to make sure you have the Use M3U playlist for multi-disc selected for the specific core. And that's it. LaunchBox will take care of it all for you in the background. If you have any questions at all, let us know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.